theories of mental discipline. It is one of the theory of transfer of learning or training. It is also known as the faculty theory. Now this theory, it is the oldest of all the transfers of learning theories. It believes that the mind is composed of many independent faculties like memory, attention, imagination, reasoning, judgment, etc. Now these faculties, according to this theory, they are the muscles of the mind. And like muscles of the body that we can strengthen and improve through exercise, even our mind can be strengthened and improved through exercise. So when these faculties, they are strengthened and improved, they later on function automatically in all the situations and areas in which they are involved. For example, if the memory of a person is strengthened or improved to a great extent through the memorization of long and difficult passages, then later on it will be easy for him or her in memorizing dates, name, formula, figure, and in fact anything or everything that involves memory. However, this theory was seriously challenged by William James and he started experimenting to prove this theory. He wanted to see that whether daily training in the memorization of poetry of one author would affect the learning of a slightly different poetry of another author. After his experiment, he concluded that memory was not affected by training as claimed by the faculty theory. Similar experiments were performed by many psychologists to test the validity and reliability of this theory. However, the findings of all these experiments have gone against the mental discipline or faculty theory. Therefore, nowadays, this theory it stands almost rejected.